the time has come and we're gonna try this this is 20,000 volts one joule output ready Today we'll show you how to calculate how much power you need to power an electronic device using a battery and a solar panel. So as for example here I have an electric fans controller and I need to power this using a battery and a solar panel. I'm also using a lithium ion battery for this project. So it needs to be balanced charged. I'm also going to show you how to balance charge this lithium ion battery pack using solar panels. In this video I'm using the electric fans controller as an example but this will work with any electronic device that is DC powered or powered by a battery. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to calculate how much power this device needs within 24 hours. So down here it says 12 volt battery is required but from the user manual it also says that it will work with 6 or 12 volts. That means it's going to work with batteries ranging between 6 volts to 12 volts. And over here I have a 2S lithium ion battery pack. At full charge it's about 8.4 volts. When it's under load it's around between 7 to 8 volts. So that's right in the range between 6 and 12 volts that is required by this device. So this should work on this device. Alright, so let's connect the battery to the uh, controller. I have my meter set up to measure current. So this is move here and then uh, the dial on milliamps. Now I'm just going to connect the meter to the whole system in series. That means from the negative terminal of the battery goes to the negative of the uh, controller. From the positive of the battery goes to one probe of the meter and the other probe will go to the positive terminal of the uh, controller. The polarity of these two probes is not important. Uh, you're going to see a negative sign if this is in reverse. The battery right now is at 8.2 volts. Let's hook it up. Now you can see it's beeping and it's uh, I almost touched this. <laughs> See so the LED is uh, blinking. So it's not continuously on. It's only on for a brief moment every two or three seconds. You can see the current is fluctuating between 160 milliamps to about 220 milliamps. So the average current I would say is around 200 milliamps. And I can confirm it with my meter here. Got 0 0.2, 0 0.2 amps. Now let's do some calculation here. So the controller require an average of 0 0.2 amps. So in 24 hours, it will consume 4.8 amp hour. And that means if I need to power with a battery, it needs to be at least 4.8 amp hour to power it within 24 hours. And here is my battery. Each cell is 5 amp hour and it is connected in a 2S 4P configuration. 2S because I need it to be over 6 volts. So in this case it's 8.4 volts to power the uh, controller. I put 4 in parallel so the total 20 amp hour. So this battery is enough to power the controller for at least 4 days. I need to account for the days when it's cloudy or when it's rainy when my solar panel is not producing enough power to charge the battery. The battery is a 2S lithium ion battery so it needs to be balanced charge. So I'm using two 5 volt solar panels to charge the battery. Here is the spec of the solar panel. So when it's under load it produces about half an amp. The way I balance charge this battery is by using two TP456 boards and each board will go with each solar panel. Each solar panel will be connected to the TP456 and then it will charge each of the parallel connection on the battery. So the first 
setup will charge these four cells and then the second setup will charge these four cells. Each TP456 board will guarantee to charge the battery to 4.2 volts and then it will stop. So this is how you can balance charge a lithium ion battery using a solar panel and a TP4056 board. So how much solar power do I need per day to provide enough power for the uh, controller? In the area where I live, every day I only have two hours of full sun and then six hours of overcast on average. So with full sun, I have one amp hour and overcast, I only have about 20% of power coming from the solar panel. So that's 0.1 amp. And for six hours, I have 0.6 amp hour. So the total is 1.6 amp hour per day per solar panel. But the controller requires 4.8 amp hours per day and that's three times the uh, solar uh, output. So I need to put three of these solar panels in parallel. So if we take 1.6 amp hour times three, we got 4.8 amp hour. But this is in ideal condition. On the days when it's rainy or when it's overcast all the time then I don't produce this much power that means that I'm gonna need more solar so I'm gonna have to add one more solar panel so I should have four solar panels in parallel in order to provide enough power for 4.8 amp hour per day. Each solar panel puts out about half an amp so when I have four panels in parallel the output is gonna be two amps the TP4056 board can only put out 1 amp max so in order to support a 2 amp output I need to put two of these in parallel here is an example of TP4056 board connected in parallel so basically you just have to connect positive to positive and negative to negative on both the input and the output and that would double or triple in this case the uh, output and the input current. So in this case I'm going to use a total of 8 solar panels in which 4 in parallel and connected to 2 of these in parallel to charge 4 of these in parallel and then I have the other 4 in parallel will be charged by 4 solar panels connected to 2 TP456 boards in parallel. Besides the TP456 board you can also use other charging board. This is the IP5306 which put out two amps. So you don't have to put two in parallel, just one board is enough. This is a TP5100 that puts out two amps. And you can also use this and just one board will be enough for this project. So there you have it, how to calculate the power requirements with a solar panel and a battery to run your electronic device. My next step is to put everything together to run my electric fans. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. All right, I've got it connected and you can see it's blinking there. So it's working right now. Junior and I, we are gonna try this, right? No. I'm gonna go first, okay? Try it. All right, I'm going to go first. This is 20,000 volts, one joule output. Ready? Ah! 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 Well, actually, it actually feels good. It's kind of therapeutic. <laughs> oh, man, tell you the truth. Ah, my heart is racing. Feels like somebody just punched me in the chest. <laughs>